everyone! In the last session, we talked about the different types of video editing tools you can use to edit your video resume with. We understand that not everyone has access to these tools and or feels confident or has time or maybe even interest in learning how to edit a video using these tools, and that's okay. In the next series of videos, we're going to teach you how to use presentation tools such as PowerPoint and Prezi to create videos. We are also going to introduce you to something we like to call blended next-gen resumes. Nick, who is an expert in using presentation tools for creating videos, is going to introduce us to this. Hello, my name is Nick, and I'm a peer mentor in this course. Asal presented me as an expert for doing video resume with presentational tools. I'm not sure if I'm an expert, but I can certainly show you how I did it with PowerPoint and Prezi. And I won a video resume competition, so I guess I'm good at it. The first trick I'll be showing you is how you can use PowerPoint to create a blended next-gen resume. Let me first explain to you what I mean by a blended next-gen resume. The process is you first create an infographic resume using PowerPoint, and then using transitions and animation of PowerPoint to make sure the content flow. Export the PowerPoint as a video format, then you will have a video presentation of your fully animated infographic resume and that is why I called it a blended next-gen resume. First, let me show you mine, and I will be teaching you step-by-step step how you can make one for yourself. Hello, my name is Nick Wang, and I'm currently an Honours Bachelor of Science candidate in the University of Toronto, and I'm looking for a job in the educational field. In this video resume, you will see 5 reasons why I am the ideal candidate for your job position. To develop my teaching skills, I have volunteered over 550 hours at schools, churches and community centers, tutoring students all the way from kindergarten to first year university students. As a student volunteer at Culturelink Canada and an external executive of the University of Toronto Aviation Club and a commuter ambassador at the St. Michael's College, I've learned many important skills to make me a good teacher and most importantly, leadership and teamwork. Nick is a current presenter. He's an inspiring presenter, speaking on topics such as respect, commitment and anti bullying Nick is somebody who you want to have on your team. From the two competitions, I have learned many effective ways of communicating with one another. And experiences such as MC and online course peer mentor has improved my public speaking skills. To me, traveling is not about the number of cities I've been to, but the number of people I've met. Backpacking made me open to the thought of meeting other travelers and spending time with them. It doesn't matter if it's done by a bottle of beer or walking side by side on a free tour. Fluent in Mandarin, English, Hokkien, and currently learning Spanish. This allows me to communicate with people from various backgrounds, and it also let me understand the challenges of learning a whole new language. Thank you for watching my video resume. Do you want to know more about me? Call me or email me, or you can search me up on LinkedIn. I also have a blog where I share my passion like drawing, traveling, and cooking. And I'm always looking for new opportunities and experiences. So connect with me to learn more. So, do you like that blended resume? Are you ready to make one for yourself? Let's do it. First of all, you have to know what is the purpose of creating a blended resume. Who are you trying to impress? For instance, I'm trying to apply for a summer job in the educational field. So my focus will be demonstrating my skills and experiences related to teaching. First, I will highlight all the things I want to talk about in my regular resume. And I have summarized my skills and experiences into five main areas. Tutoring, leadership, communication skills and public speaking, multicultural knowledge, and trilingual. I then produce infographics to illustrate these points one by one in PowerPoint. Once you have identified the areas you want to focus on, Start finding images and data that can present your experiences and skills. 
If you do not know how to make a good infographic, you can always go back to module two to review the tools and tips that Margie and Regina gave you. You can also send specific questions in the discussion board and we peer mentors would love to help. Suppose that you have your infographics ready, now you will have to create a script to narrate. Pretend that you are presenting this PowerPoint to a room of audience. Script out what you want to say and say to the slides, it is very hard to talk without a script. Even experienced speaker like Obama scripted every word he says in his speech. So write down everything you, say, you want to say and practice it. Now you have a choice whether to show a video of yourself talking to the camera or just record your voice, or you can do both. Early on, Asal mentioned all the do's and don'ts of filming yourself. You want to make sure that you are presenting the most attractive side and image of yourself. Once you have the video clips, you can then insert the video into your corresponding slides. This is how you do it. To create a blended resume with PowerPoint, all you need is your creativity and some basic skills in PowerPoint. The reason that I will not be giving away my template is because having a template usually limits one's creativity. If you need ideas, look at others' infographic resume and look at your own. Think of how you can make this infographic resume alive. If you need suggestions, please leave it on the discussion board and I would love to help. So in this screen recording tutorial, I will be teaching you 5 skills to create a video with PowerPoint. The rest will just be your own creativity. Before you start creating your PowerPoint resume, it is really good to have all your files saved in one single folder for easier access later. A useful tip is to name all your files with appropriate names and this will save your time when you're making your PowerPoint. To insert a video, go on to the upper left hand corner where it says insert. Once clicked, there should be a button that says video. To insert a video onto PowerPoint, click on video, video on my PC. Double click to insert the video. To trim the video to the ideal duration, right click and click on the button that says trim. And adjust it. To insert an audio, go to the upper left hand corner and click on the tab where it says insert. Once clicked, there should be a button next to the video that says audio. You have two options. If you have a voice recorder, you can always insert it into PowerPoint by clicking on audio on my PC. If not, you can record your voice using the microphone of your laptop by clicking record audio. To insert a soundtrack, follow the same steps on inserting an audio to PowerPoint. Once the audio is inserted, right click on the volume icon and click on the button that says style, play game background. This ensures the music to play in the background throughout the slides. Don't forget to adjust the volume of the background music so it does not cover the talking. To ensure that the presentation will run without a single click, it is very important to have the right timing for transition. To make sure that the transition timing is correct, first make sure that every video and audio will start playing automatically. To check, two extra tabs will appear after clicking on the video or an audio. Click on Playback starts automatically. Once the video and audio are set to play automatically, under the transition tab, make sure it advanced slides after a few seconds, not on mouse click. Adjust it by yourself. One great thing about PowerPoint is that it is a very powerful tool. To export the presentation slides into a video format, click on File, then press Export. And create a video. It takes a while to export the presentation as a video, so just wait. 
and you're complete. Congratulations! Now you have made your own blended resume with PowerPoint. If you feel like stepping up a notch, go to the next module and I'll be teaching you how to make a blended resume with Prezi.